Hi everyone, this is David, recording on his headset mic, please forgive me. Vicki Felice Smith sent this file to me to do a little workshop on. I'm going to open it with audacity. And there she blows. Wow. Not much gain on the spoken part. The first thing I'm going to do is select all and go ahead and normalize it to a decent volume. Let's try three and see what we get. 3.0. Click on preview. Wow. This is a story of a king, a chessboard, and the math. So really, the, the, the hum is as, as loud as the voice. Click OK. Oh yeah, you can there you can see the hum and how loud it is. That hum that you're hearing is uh, being <clears throat> is her computer. It's her microphone picking up a sounds like a DC uh, electrical signal. There happens often when you have microphones or uh, headsets that are pin jacks. Also, just happens on old computers with old audio cards. I don't know which one it is. I just know that it's very, very loud. The next thing we want to do is to try to take out the hum. And to do that, we have to isolate it. One of the things, and I, you know, I need to put this in a lecture. One of the things you want to do when you start recording is to hit record and then count to three or five in your head so that there's nothing but the ambient noise in the background. But I think we got enough here. See this little doohickey right here? That's that's a breath on her part. So I don't want to cut out any of her breath, so I'm just going to isolate this part. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, back a little bit more. Get off of that breath. There you go. Okay, so we have captured, or we're going to capture as soon as we apply this effect here, noise reduction, we're going to capture or sample just that hum. Bam get noise profile. We have captured just that hum now. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go control F to make the entire waveform fit in the window. Then I'm going to select all of it. And to remove noise you have to go back again and this time you get to remove it. Right now the defaults are to reduce it this, whatever you have sampled reduce it by 14 decibels that's probably louder than 14 decibels, but let's go ahead and preview it and see what the default settings get us. This is a story of a king, a chessboard, and the mathematics that got him into trouble. As you can tell, it reduced the hum quite a bit. The hum is still there, however, so we're going to have to take out, obviously the hum is louder than 14 decibels. Let's see if it's louder than 20 decibels. This is a story of a king. Yes, it's a chessboard than, and the mathematics. It's louder than 20 decibels. That is quite a hum. Let's try 25 decibels. And the reason it's not affecting her voice is that the hum is strictly an electrical sound <clears throat> that is out of the range of the human voice. And we have isolated just that hum. Preview. This is a story of a king, Almost a gone. chessboard, and the mathematics that almost gone. Dare we go a little bit higher? How about 30? A 30 decibel hum. Congratulations. That's one of the highest hums I've ever heard. This is a story of a king, a chessboard, and the mathematics. Okay, so that was a 30 decibel hum. And now by clicking OK, it's going to take that 30, it's going to take that 30 decibel hum out of the entire recording. Boink. Okay. So let's see what we got left. Probably just her breathing. Let's see what we got breath got left. So what that is. Mm, still a little bit of a hum. Do we dare we take out more hum? Sure, let's go for it. Yep, that's a hum. So just a little bit, but let's click on noise reduction, get noise profile fit the whole thing in, select all. This time we'll go to noise reduction. Uh, probably don't need to take out 30. <laughs> Let's see if uh, 13 will get it this time. This is a yep. story of a king, 
a chessboard, and the mathematics. So we had to do it twice. So much hum, we had to do it twice. Okay, now we're going to take it out of the entire clip. Oh, yeah, there we go. You saw you saw how it changed there. Now we've probably got just her breathing. Yep, we got just her breathing. So we'll play it. Here she takes a breath right there. This is a story of a king. Now, what you can do with those is you can highlight that and make it silent. In that way... This is a story of a king, a chessboard, and the mathematics that got him into trouble. There was a selfless wife... Still, still a little bit of a... Uh, you can still hear a little bit of her breath there. If you wanted to, you could highlight that portion that contains her breath. And if I turn that up, I could hear it better. And you can click silence, and there now you won't have any breath. Trouble. There was a selfless wise man who'd served the king for many years. But it's not bad. It's not bad. Let's make it fit. Okay, so now at least... Oh, there's a... There's something that we got to get rid of. What is that? Although oh, the wise man... That is a lip smack. I do that often myself. That is a lip smack. Here, I'll let you hear it. Uh, kind of a tongue saliva smack kind of thing, but we'll get rid of it with the silence button. See if we got it. Loyalty. Although the wise man believed that serving the king was its own reward... He felt he should accept to satisfy the king. What would you like, asked the king. The wise man had noticed a chessboard beside the king. Sounds good. Okay, so let's fit it into the window. Next thing we want to do is try a little bit of equalization, see if that helps. Uh-huh. Looks pretty bassy. Let's see what it sounds like. Try like a... That's way too bassy, isn't it? This is the story of a king, a chessboard, and the mathematics that got him into trouble. There was a... Yeah. Um, too much bass. So let's get some of that bass out of there. Okay, let's see what that sounds like. This is a story of a king, a chessboard, and the mathematics that got him into trouble. Sounds pretty good. There was a selfless wise man. Okay, so let's apply equalization. You'll see how that changes a little bit. Makes harsh sounds less harsh and soft sounds a little bit louder. Let's compress it. Now one thing you see on compression, uh, you can automatically make up gain because when you compress a file it it does uh it does take out game but you see it's it's going to take it back out back up to zero so let's not do that if we need to increase the gain after we compress it we'll do it manually but let's preview it this is a story of a king a chessboard and the mathematics that got him into trouble not bad uh, probably could uh, take out a little bit but we'll go ahead and just click ok you see it re re reduced a little bit some of the harshness. I think the I think the gain is okay. This is a story of a king, a chessboard, and the mathematics. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. So there you go. We've taken out the noise. We've EQ'd it. We've compressed it. Um, I wouldn't make it any louder because she was really close to the mic already. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on File. Export audio, give it a new name, call it edited. It's a wave 16 bit pulse control modulation. We'll save it. We don't need to add anything else to it. And there it is. And now Vicky's got, I think, a decent sounding clip, one that will certainly do for her project.